Hi, I'm Kate with Kate's Paper Creations, and I welcome you to my weekly video and blog called Simply Saturday, where I try to produce cards that are a little bit simpler to make. And I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Washington State, so I am featuring one of the new stamp sets in the um, current holiday mini catalog called Poinsettia Petals. And this is the stamp set here. It's got all kinds of lovely pieces, and then it, in the in the bundle, it comes with these dies, and so it has um, dies that'll cut out the various um, stamps in the set, and then these can be cut out, stamped and cut out, like I'm going to be doing today, or they have this lovely um, embossing center that you can put in them and create an embossed look on a solid piece. So lots of lots and lots of pretty things that can be done with this set. Today's card is what I said is a simple card, um, but um, um, on Monday, two days from now, I will be doing a, what they call a step up card, where it's basically the same card, but it's going to be with a few more extras that just make it a little bit. Um, more detailed and a little more bling maybe and that kind of thing. So here's the simple card. Let's get started. So as usual, you've got the the base card, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. It makes what we call an A2 greeting card. And it's going to be a top fold card. So it will open like this. And layer one is old olive and it is cut four by five and a quarter so just that quarter of an inch smaller then i'm going to use the detailed trio punch and round the corners on this just like this you gotta make sure you get it in there nice and straight and then it makes these wonderful soft soft color corners. I don't very often do this and yet it really does make a nice card when you do. Okay, so there's that piece and it just gets attached to the card front with regular adhesive. Just like this. The next layer is, is from the Poinsettia Place Designer Series paper, and it's the double-sided paper, so it has these lovely little um, fur cones or pine cones on the back side, but here's the front side that I'm going to be using. And I also rounded the corners on this piece, and it starts out at four and a half by three and a quarter. Also goes on the front of the card just flat. And again, it's just centered. It's going to leave a little bit of a bigger margin all the way around, probably about three eighths of an inch all the way around. And you can decide how you want your paper to go. Depends on how much of the design is in there. I think I like mine laying this way better. That looks good. So there's this, the basic card. Then I stamped with soft suede. I stamped the medium sized stamp. So there's three sizes. And typically the, you'll see online when they're making your cards that they use all three sizes and they'll put it together to create a single flower. So you've got small, medium, and large. Small, medium, and large. And I used the small one to make this flower. I didn't want it too large on the front of the card because I didn't want to cover up too much of that beautiful um, designer series paper. 
So I started out by just stamping them with uh, soft suede onto Whisper White, and then there's a die for cutting it out, so I cut it out with a die. Now sometimes when you cut out with a die, you don't always get it totally centered, and and when that happens, sometimes there's just a little extra white around the edges, a little bit more than than I would necessarily like, um, totally a, t a matter of taste, but this one does have a little bit more white than I want, so I'm just going to touch it up by trimming out that extra edge there just a little bit with my scissors. You know, and this happens, and so I, I want to share that with you because it can be um, somewhat frustrating at times to have to deal with that. That's looking much better to me. One more, I'm going to do this one just a little bit. You know, as much as we try, as hard as we try, and of course you can always redo it, but I think that um, that this works just as well. And, uh, you know, why throw it away? Just make it work. There, I'm liking that a little bit better. Okay, so then I took um, a blending brush, and I got these from Amazon. It was a set, all different sizes. Um, this one's called I Mount Tech. I think it's yeah, I M O U N T E K. And there was a set of them and they were like twelve dollars and I really like them for doing um shading and stuff. I've gotten really hooked on that. I'm gonna get me a piece of scratch paper here and put these on here so I don't get ink on my background that I've created. I could tell you about that, this lovely little background you're seeing. I um, wanted something pretty behind my work surface when I was doing videos, and um, so I took a couple of pieces of the heavy cardstock backing that come behind um, some of our DSP when we order it, and I put them together and added a piece in the middle to, to strengthen it up, and then I put a couple pieces of DSP on the front from the In Good Taste designer series paper and created my little background here. I hope you like that. I think it makes it look a little bit nicer when you're viewing the videos. So I was just thinking of you when I was doing that. Um, this is um, trying to imitate what was on this paper with that little bit of a brown tinge in the center and yet not get too strong. So I'm trying to stay really light and just come out from the center a little bit with just a little bit of color, and that is more than enough right there, just like that. So there's the two flowers and what I did with those. Then I need my bone folder, because I'm going to just give them a little bit of a very light curve, give them a little bit of life, so they're not just flat, because no flower has flat petals, they have life in them. And then I'm going to attach these to one another, offsetting the leaves. And I am going to put a mini glue, a mini dimensional between them. I want there to be some, um, to lift it up just a little bit more than it would if I just put a glue dot there. And I just felt like it gave it a little bit more life. And then I am cut out one there's a little tiny center for the flowers and I cut out one of them out of bumblebee and I should have put um, double stick adhesive on the back but I didn't do that so <laughs> I don't know why I have a blank spot for that but anyway so I'm just going to use my um, zig two-way glue pen and put a little tiny bit of glue on there and I'm going to put that right in the center just like that. And then I am going to attach that entire flower to the front of the card with a regular dimensional. Just lifts it off the front of the card a little bit. And again, and then I'm putting it down here in this corner. You know, and there's another one of those petals that has just a little more white on it than I want it to have. And it really shows up now that I've colored the 
flower a little bit, so I'm going to come in here and trim that off too. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I like it much better. Okay, and I put that on there like that. And then for the sentiment, I cut a piece of Whisper White. It's three quarters of an inch wide, and it is about four inches long. On the end, I just took and you cut down the very center, and then you cut each corner like that, and that creates the cute little V that you want there. You could also do it with um, a punch we used to have. I don't think it's available any longer, but this punch would do the same thing. And it does three different sizes, half, three quarters, and one inch wide. So that's kind of handy. Then I stamped from the same stamp set. It has a beautiful Merry Christmas stamp. And um, I'm one of those people say Merry Christmas. And... I am going to stamp that. I'm going to stay to the right end of this for the most part because I'm going to end up kind of under the flower. And then I'm going to attach this as well with dimensionals. Let it dry just a little bit so it doesn't smear. Sometimes on the Whisper White, our inks take just a little bit, especially the darker ones, can take a little bit longer to dry. So I try to be really careful not to run my finger over them or whatever. So I'm just giving it a chance to, to dry really well while I add the dimensionals to the back. There we go. And then it's going to just tuck under here just like that. And there is our today's Saturday Simple card. Now, if you really like, I know it's Simple Saturday, but I do like to do my envelopes. And I did take a little bit extra of that designer series paper. I put this down on the paper, trace around it, cut it out to create a flap cover. And then when I'm attaching the flap cover, I um, put the adhesive on the cover itself and then attach the DSP to it and sometimes it's just a hair bit different because I can't ever cut perfect and if it's overlapping a little bit on the back side like this one is I just take my scissors and nip off that little bit of X excuse me that little bit of extra like that so there is my beautiful simply Saturday card I hope you enjoyed coming by do check back on Monday and see how I step up this card. Thanks for stopping by.